Hey everyone, this is Phil, um, and I've been in a kind of funk with my photography lately, and especially with film photography. It's, it felt like uh, even when I went out to shoot some pictures, I rarely got up my film camera, and I've been kind of saving shots, um, especially when I'm shooting with uh, medium format for photography and I really want to get back into that kind of love of photography that I felt I had actually gained back when I was in, in a, when I got back from Paris and all the shots from Paris just turned out super great um, so it's been a few months and I still haven't quite gotten into the groove with uh, photography so I only brought this one camera the uh, Fuji GS645 today uh, and it's loaded up with um, some Lomo 400 film, which is my favorite uh, film stock. And also um, Lomo just lowered the prices, um, which is unheard of, of uh, 120 film lately. And so I picked up some more of my favorite film stock and I brought it out here. And we are in the very, very east of Tokyo. Uh, I kind of, I've mentioned this before, but I love the east of Tokyo because it's kind of um, a little older leaning um, when you look at the, the um, buildings uh, they tend to leave stuff around a little longer over here everything is a little older a little more run down looking uh, and not being replaced by impeccable kind of featureless houses and giant blocks of uh, concrete and glass uh, like everywhere else uh, in Tokyo seems to be um, heading right now so yeah um, we're out here uh, currently in Takasago and I kind of wanted to walk towards Shibamata uh, so I'm hoping that uh, today will turn out well and I'm hoping to shoot at least two rolls yeah about that in a prime example of what can go wrong if you're using 30 year old cameras uh, my lab called me the next day and they told me you're not gonna like this but these rolls are completely unexposed there's only one shot that we could find anything on and they sent me a scan of uh, the only one shot that was on the roll um, and the rest of them look like this so yeah as you can see complete blank um, so they were advancing completely normally um, the there is no trace of like overexposure light leaks or uh messed up chemicals or anything like that uh, the only shot that is on the roll is perfectly exposed um but the rest is just completely black so obviously uh the shutter on my gs645 did not open uh and initially when i got home and I tried um to dry fire my GS um, it just worked perfectly fine so I was really really confused about what had happened there uh, but then I talked to my local camera shop uh, Mitsubato uh, and uh, the owner told me that uh, because this is a electronically wired camera uh, there's of course some uh, connection points in there that might have uh, produced a faulty con contact uh, depending on what angle I held the camera in or uh, based on movement and uh, that made a lot of sense especially because I have actually disassembled uh, and uh, replaced the bellows on my GS and the guides that I was doing this by uh, specifically mentioned that the shutter cord uh, is very fragile and might come loose so initially this has been it's it's like a year and a half two or two years that i've used this camera without trouble um so i think i might have just slightly pried it loose or uh it was just a matter of age and it just came loose on its own uh but either way um my gs now has a fault uh where the shutter just does not fire all the time sometimes it fires sometimes it doesn't uh, but yeah um, the shots that I thought I had gotten during this walk uh, through 
um, Shiba Mata did not turn out. Uh, so unfortunately, I don't have any shots of that uh, from those two rolls. Um, but I decided to just go back uh, because it was a really nice location. I got some new nice video uh, and I didn't want to let it go to waste. Um, so I went back uh, and shot some more shots with the Beast, the Texas Leica, my uh, VW690 uh, Mark III. So um, obviously this is uh, the same family of lenses. Uh, it's the same uh, manufacturer Fujifilm in a similar uh, time period. So it's going to be very similar uh, with the added caveat uh, that of course this is a six by nine negative. So it has a lot more uh, surface area, has a lot uh, more pronounced out of focus uh, bokeh, um, which this camera is an absolute beast and I love the results from it. Um, so I'm hoping I got some nice shots. I haven't seen them yet. Uh, so you're, you'll be seeing them uh, with me uh, for the first time. And uh, I hope we get some new nice stuff and I will cut it in with the video that I already got. Uh, and hopefully this will make an interesting video. But yeah, uh, it also serves as a reminder Film photography can go very, very wrong uh, because you're working with very, very old gear. Uh, and especially when you have electronics in that gear, you're going to have some failures. This is probably the worst that I've had so far. Let's hope it's the last. And uh, I'm sorry for the, for the lost shots because I think I got some nice ones. Um, but yeah. I'm probably going to get this uh, repaired professionally. Not, uh, I don't really have the time to tinker with it, uh, which I probably would have before. Um, but yeah, let's see what I got with the 690. Hey, I just wanted to let you know that I took a third walk through uh, Shiba Mata with my friend Norby. Uh, his channel is also linked um, somewhere on the screen right now and uh, in the description. So anything that has significantly better weather than all the rest of the footage, um, that is from that walk.
like I got lucky. Um, I just bought some uh, sembe from one of the stores here, and they told me that they're actually about to close up. Um, and apparently, it's usually even earlier, so they usually close at four here. Um, but since it's like an auspicious day and it's right in front of the, the shrine here, um, they're keeping the stores open a little longer than usual. So, lucky. Glad it came today. Gotta love the Lomo tape. Yeah. It's either too strong or too loose. Never quite right. Flowers coming out in fall. Yeah. So then they try to squeeze people into one day or another day as many people as they can. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap this video up right where I originally started it. Uh, so we're back at uh, Takasago station and uh, I ho hope you had some fun. Um, hope it was interesting to you.
Let me know in the comments which one your favorite shot was. Uh, I'll put my own on the screen right here. Uh, and that's it. Hope to see you again.